What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple surprised us today on a Friday with the release of iOS 12.3.1 and this is a public release available to all devices. There was no beta testing or really any indication at all of this update coming. So definitely a surprise, but you can see here the update is only 116.7 megabytes on my iPhone XS Max, which did of course come from iOS 12.3. However, that size will vary depending on your device and of course what firmware you are coming from. And this update comes just under two weeks after the release of iOS 12.3. So this must contain some important bug fixes to be pushed out so soon after the release of iOS 12.3, and of course, without any beta testing as well. So let's go ahead and see what's new here and why this update was released. So let's go and check out the build number first. Let's go to our settings, general about, and we can see right here 12.3.1. If we go and tap on that, the build number 16F203. And then the very first change I noticed here is the modem firmware. So you can see the modem firmware did get an update all 2018 iPhones are now at 1.05.04. So it went from 0.03 to 0.04, which means that it can help if you were having some kind of, you know, cellular connectivity issues. If you had issues with LTE, you could see a bump in performance. You may not see as bad of interference or drop calls, whatever you're experiencing with connectivity with this new modem firmware update. So aside from the modem firmware update, there are a few other bug fixes. But aside from these bug fixes that I'm about to talk about, there's really nothing else changed here in iOS 12.3. 3.1 but at the same time I will touch on if you should update or not near the end of this video so stay tuned for that so the first thing you can see that's fixed here in iOS 12.3.1 is it says fixes an issue that could prevent making or receiving vol LTE calls so that seems like a major issue that would definitely prompt for an emergency release like iOS 12.3.1 so that alone could very well be why Apple pushed this out instead of waiting for like a major or at least a more major release like iOS 12.4 but anyways you can see the second fix here is fixes issues and messages that could cause messages from unknown senders to appear in your conversation list, even though filter unknown senders is enabled. So I actually did experience this here on my iPhone XS Max on iOS 12.3. So I'm glad Apple has addressed that here in 12.3.1. I do believe it was fixed in iOS 12.4 beta. Uh, don't quote me on that, but iOS 12.3.1 does fix that. And of course, when 12.4 comes out, we're currently on beta two of 12.4 right now. But when 12.4 comes out, it will include all these fixes as well. And then the final fix, Apple says fixes an issue that could prevent the report junk link from appearing in messages threads from unknown sender. So I didn't experience that. The only one of these three bug fixes that I actually experienced, the only bug that I experienced was the messages from unknown senders that appeared in my normal conversation list. So again, aside from those bug fixes, there isn't anything else new in iOS 12.3.1 compared to iOS 12.3. And once again, the reason that Apple pushed out this update, I know a lot of people always ask me, why would they release such a small update just to fix you know these bugs? Why don't they just do that in 12.4? Well, you guys could see that those were actually some pretty major bugs. So Apple doesn't want to just wait, you know, for iOS 12.4, since we're in the beta stages to fix that, they need to be addressed now. And that's the reason they pushed out this update so soon after iOS 12.3. So now let's talk about battery life performance and connectivity. So battery life on iOS 12.3 has actually been pretty solid for me. So you can see over the last 10 days, I'm averaging about seven and a half hours of screen on time. And this is a little bit skewed because I do charge my phone throughout the day since I am using it so much as of late. Uh, but I am getting actually really good battery life on iOS 12.3 and I would imagine iOS 12.3.1 keeps the battery life the exact same. I cannot see iOS 12.3.1 messing with the battery at all. So you can expect to have good battery life on iOS 12.3.1, just like you did with iOS 12.3. Now, as far as performance goes, performance is not that good on iOS 12.3, I must admit. And the big issue I had is in the app store. For some reason, the app store constantly would freeze on me. I would constantly have to, you know, when I would go to search something or when I would go to update something, the app store would just constantly freeze on me and it would sit there and have to close out the application, force close and go back into it just to be able to, you know, update or download an application. And this has happened at least four or five times over the past week. And I can confirm that this performance issue is not there in iOS 12.4. iOS 12.4 is actually smoother and I don't really have any performance issues with iOS 12.4. So 12.3.1 could possibly fix this, but I doubt it. I believe iOS 12.4 is going to fix any kind of performance issues you've been having. So you can go ahead and update the 12.3.1 if you want, but don't expect any kind of boost in performance or battery life. And uh, connectivity is the next thing. Connectivity, you actually could notice a boost in here in iOS 12.3.1, because again, we do have a new modem firmware update and we do have the fix 
for the Vol LTE calls right here. But for me personally, I have not noticed any kind of connectivity issues on iOS 12.3 on my iPhone XS Max. I don't have any LTE issues, I don't have any Wi-Fi issues, or I don't have any Bluetooth issues. So everything seems to be running perfectly fine for me here on iOS 12.3, and I would imagine it's gonna stay the same here on 12.3.1. So since this is such a small update, but it does fix some important things, I would definitely recommend updating to iOS 12.3.1 if you're on iOS 12.3 at the moment. If not, if you're trying to jailbreak, obviously stay on the lowest firmware possible but if you don't care about jailbreaking definitely go ahead and update there's really no downside to it and just a quick note i will be live streaming wwdc 2019 on june 3rd i will be going live here on youtube to react to ios 13 i'm going to show you guys all around the software of ios 13 live here on youtube so definitely stay tuned for that uh, i'll be very interactive with the chat it's going to be really awesome so definitely make sure to make plans to be there on that afternoon it'll be fun and i did also just get a brand new camera so i'm going to be shooting in 4k now with the gh5 i'm using the old camera right now the one i've been using here on the channel but the quality of my videos will improve probably next week as early as next week i'm just trying to figure it out still and make sure you know i release the best quality possible so look forward to better quality videos and look forward to that live stream next week so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit that thumbs up button also let me know down in a comment below if you updated to iOS 12.3.1 or if you're looking forward to iOS 13 just start some conversation down there in the comment section I love responding to you guys down there but anyways thanks again for watching the video guys and I'll see you soon